at 7.15 a.m., October 4th, 2025. Location, 600 meters from the Ukrainian border. The half-billion-dollar Russian missile corvette, a Bayan M-class vessel, referred to as GRAD in classified reports to protect operational secrecy, glides silently through the Volga Baltic waterway. Russian command considers this inland route a fortress, a safe haven far from the drone-plagued Black Sea. They have no idea that in less than 60 seconds, Ukraine is about to send their prized warship to the bottom of the lake. From a concealed launch site miles away, a Ukrainian SSO special operations technician locks onto the target. This isn't a random strike. It's the culmination of a three-month intelligence operation, tracking the grad's every move, waiting for this precise moment of vulnerability. Destroying this ship is more than a naval victory. It silences one of Putin's deadliest missile platforms, carrying caliber cruise missiles. It grants Ukraine's battered cities a desperately needed reprieve from relentless bombardment. The Grad's defenses, built for open ocean combat, are designed to counter supersonic missiles. They're unprepared for a swarm of low-flying, slow-moving drones skimming the shoreline. In these narrow waters, the warship is a half-billion-dollar whale in a bathtub blind to the real threat. The connection is locked. The countdown ends. The destruction is the goal, but the true impossibility lies in the 600-mile journey to reach this moment. Can garage-built drones smuggled across a continent defeat a warship's electronic and physical defenses? This wasn't a spontaneous raid. It was a meticulously planned assault. For three months, Ukrainian intelligence operated like ghosts using satellite feeds to monitor the GRAD's maneuvers. The high-stakes action began 72 hours ago. A single cargo truck departed a warehouse near Bryansk, its manifest listing cheap furniture. Hidden in false compartments were five Wild Hornet drone kits, compact Ukrainian drones developed in secret workshops near Kyiv, combining commercial-grade hardware with a battle-hardened AI adapted from open-source Artipilot software for autonomous combat navigation. For three days, the SSO team navigated enemy territory, leveraging real-time intelligence from local resistance networks and forged Russian military passes to slip through checkpoints undetected. Failure meant capture, interrogation, and a mission erased from history. The brilliance of the plan lay in its logistics. A 600-mile drone flight would burn over 70% of the battery just to reach the target. By assembling the drones on site, three miles from the lake's edge, the team preserved every ounce of power for evasive maneuvers and the final strike. At 7 a.m., with batteries at 100%, the swarm lifted silently into the fog. The 10-minute launch window slammed shut. The ground team's own clock began ticking, vanished before Russian patrols found their tracks. The crew melted into the woods, their mission now in the hands of the drones. 11 minutes later, the lake would erupt. At 7.11 a.m., the calm on the Grad's bridge shatters. The radar operator, who minutes ago dismissed faint ghosts near the shoreline, now sees five solid contacts screaming across the water at under 100 feet. Alarm bells scream. The ship's multi-million dollar TK-25E electronic warfare suite activates, blanketing the lake in a digital storm of radio interference. It shifts tactics rapidly, switching from targeted jamming to wide-spectrum barrage jamming, flooding all frequencies. The Russian goal is simple. Sever the drone's connection to their operators and scramble their GPS. It's like trying to make a phone call during a rock concert. Total digital chaos. But these wild hornets aren't on the phone. Their flight paths are preloaded onto an AI brain, trained on thousands of hours of Black Sea combat data allowing them to fly autonomously without a single command from base. The TK-25E tries a second tactic, GPS spoofing, feeding the drones a digital lie, tricking their navigation into believing they're lost over Siberia's frozen wastes. The Hornet's AI laughs at the deception. It cross-references GPS with its internal compass and accelerometers. When the GPS screams Siberia, but the sensors confirm the lake, the AI knows it's being lied to. It activates frequency hopping, rapidly switching communication channels to evade jamming, scanning thousands of channels a second to lock onto a clear signal. The swarm executes its first tactical move. Sacrifice. Five drones split into two groups. Two climb, 
broadcasting louder signals to draw the TK-25E's focus. The system locks on, frying their circuits in seconds. But the Russians adapt, redirecting partial jamming to the remaining drones. The three Hornets, now under intermittent interference, execute erratic maneuvers to confuse the system, narrowly slipping through a shrinking electronic gap. As the drones close in, the Grad's physical defenses awaken, and the battle shifts from digital to deadly. At 7.13 a.m., the physical battle erupts. The Grad's AK-630C IWS roars, a buzzsaw shredding the morning air, firing 10,000 rounds a minute to create a tungsten wall. On deck, Sailor's Man cord 12.7mm machine guns and AGS-30 automatic grenade launchers, desperately sweeping the fog for the low-flying drones. But the Hornet's erratic flight paths, darting unpredictably along the shoreline, foil their aim. The CIWS, designed for open ocean missile defense, struggles to depress its guns low enough to track targets skimming the water just hundreds of meters away. The captain orders the ship to tilt, adjusting its angle to widen the CIWS's firing arc, but the narrow channel restricts maneuverability, slowing the response. The drones exploit this, staying a half second ahead of every calculation. On the bridge, the captain barks orders. The ship tries to maneuver, but in the shallow, narrow channel, it's a whale in a bathtub, a clumsy, desperate dance. The CIWS's targeting computer chokes, overwhelmed by the drone's erratic maneuvers. It's a processing nightmare, spitting out firing solutions too late. The lead Hornet's IR camera pierces the fog. It locks on. The Grad's engine exhaust glows, a beacon in the chaos. The other two Hornets peel off, drawing fire. The CIWS, now manually overridden by a frantic gunner, locks onto one decoy. Tracers connect. The drone vaporizes. But the sacrifice buys three precious seconds. The lead Hornet slips through, battery at 40%. The Russians know they've failed the first test. Their final defense screams to life. At 7.14 a.m., the Grad's last line of defense activates. The Igla S. Sams are hot, guided killers designed to chase the hottest thing in the sky. The ship launches a cloud of decoy flares, each burning brighter than a drone engine, meant to confuse the missiles. It's a textbook defense. It should work. But the Hornet's AI, trained on thousands of hours of Black Sea flare data, sees through the trick. The flares are a cheap illusion. The lead drone holds its course. The Igla, with its primitive brain, sees multiple heat sources and hesitates. The final gambit unfolds. The second drone, the last wingman, overclocks its engine. A suicide move, pushing the motor to its limit, creating a massive heat bloom. It becomes the brightest target in the sky. The Igla bites. It veers, locking onto the decoy. Its proximity fuse detonates 10 feet away, blasting the drone into fragments. The explosion sends white-hot shrapnel tearing through the air. The lead Hornet, just 50 yards away, takes a hit. Its port wing is shredded, a gash rips across its fuselage, and smoke trails from its damaged battery. The SSO technician's screen flashes red. Battery plummets to 20%. The connection flickers. The last Hornet, crippled but alive, pushes through. The deck erupts as sailors unleash a barrage from cord machine guns and handheld grenade launchers, targeting the Hornet's faint silhouette in the fog. The composite shell absorbs the impacts, but each hit forces the AI to recalibrate, burning precious battery. The Russian EW operator, seeing automated systems fail, tries a desperate move, a manual high-energy radio jam aimed at the drone's brain. The technician's link falters. The Ukrainians anticipated this. A backup kicks in. An ultra-thin fiber-optic tether spooled behind the drone, immune to radio interference. But the cable, stretched taut across the lake, risks snapping under shrapnel or snagging on debris. For a heart-stopping second, the connection flickers as a stray round grazes the tether. The Hornet's AI briefly takes over, relying on its internal navigation to hold course until the signal stabilizes. Light defeats radio, but only just. The battered Hornet, now inside 500 yards, presses on. The Russian sailors stop firing. They can only watch. The AI sensing victory reroutes power from damaged stabilizers to the thruster. It's all or nothing. Battery at 10%, dropping fast. 
The FPV camera feed fills with the target. The Grad's glowing exhaust port. Five seconds to impact. Battery critical. As the Hornet's unblinking eye locks onto the heart of the ship, the Grad's fate is sealed. The lake braces for the inevitable. The Hornet's feed goes black. The Russian sailor's frantic fire falls silent. They can only watch the inevitable. Physics takes over. The 950-ton warship needs 15 seconds to change course in these shallow waters. The drone's AI, even wounded, makes a thousand corrections in a blink. No heroic maneuver can save them. The Hornet's 8PB-shaped charge doesn't just explode, it leverages the Monroe effect, where a precisely shaped explosive focuses its energy into a molten jet capable of piercing heavy armor. In a microsecond, the warhead's copper liner becomes a needle-thin jet of molten metal, screaming at 18,000 miles per hour. It punches through the engine block like wet paper. The jet atomizes the diesel fuel lines, triggering a catastrophic detonation. The ship's hardened hull, built to keep explosions out, now traps the blast inside, like a balloon bursting in a phone booth. The pressure wave rips through bulkheads. In 1.3 seconds, it reaches the Kaliber missile magazine. The sympathetic detonation is instantaneous. The Grad, once a Baltic Titan, becomes a lakeside inferno. Miles away, the SSO team's truck is already moving. The launch was their signal to vanish. By the time the fireball lights the sky, they're on a remote logging road. Russian license plates are swapped for civilian Karelian ones. False compartments are removed, replaced with crates of local produce. If stopped, they're just lost merchants. The mission is complete, no Ukrainian casualties. The real damage wasn't just the loss of one ship, it was the chaos it unleashed. The 680-mile Volga Baltic waterway, Russia's secret highway for 30% of its fleet, is now a confirmed kill zone. The Grad was a lifeline, funneling caliber missiles to the Caspian flotilla. That supply chain is severed. Like the sinking of the Moskva crippled logistics in the Sea of Azov, this strike creates weeks of disruption. It's like unplugging a washing machine mid-cycle. The floor's flooded and the house is a mess. The information war explodes. Grainy drone footage goes viral, amassing millions of views. The Russian Ministry of Defense calls it a technical incident, the same tired excuse as the Kerch Bridge. But NASA and Planet Labs tell the truth. A blackened warship dead in the water, 400 meters from Moscow's reach. The myth of an untouchable Russian heartland shatters. The strategic checkmate is clear. Moscow now faces a nightmare. Divert precious Pantsir S-1 air defense systems from the Donbass front to guard their canals. Every system pulled back opens a door for Ukrainian jets in the east. Russia must choose. Protect their warships or their troops. The math is brutal. A $10,000 Wild Hornet defeated a half-billion-dollar warship, a 5 million percent return on investment. This isn't just a victory, it's a new doctrine. Ukraine proves cheap, smart swarms can render a modern navy obsolete. Models suggest repeating this could shorten the war. It's a checkmate, delivered from a truck. Now, the question is yours. If you were commanding the next SSO Deep Strike team, what's your target? Another warship in the canals? or a critical canal lock to choke Russia's logistics? Share your tactical plan in the comments below.